What's up? It's the video that you've probably not been waiting for, but we're gonna make anyways. This is things to do in the Knoxville and East Tennessee area in the summertime. And as we were actually making this, we're actually in Cancun. Yes. So we're not even in East Tennessee right now, but I have a special guest. Normally we would have like a business owner, but we're gonna talk about a bunch of different businesses. So I brought the husband. He may have seen before on other videos. This is Shay. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so the we're gonna kind of do a rundown. He has no idea what's going on. No. We're just gonna let it flow. Let's do it. As we go. So number one, Cade's Cove vehicle free days. Action. No, we already started. <laughs> Cade's Cove vehicle free yeah. days, which uh, means you can ride your bike in Cade's Cove. Fun. What's fun about it? No traffic. A lot of bicycles and pedestrians. There are a lot of pedestrians that we went. But they're not in the way. You know, they're not in the way. It's not that crowded. There's plenty of room. For and it was people. a beautiful day and not too hot. Yeah. There. Although I did have to bother me for a one couple. Of, well, a couple of times you get. But you know, maybe have just... road rage that translated onto the bike. But I like it. It's a free thing to do. Yeah. Oh, you do have to pay for parking. Five dollars. Yeah. Tell us about your parking experience. We remembered, you know, hey, I think you gotta pay to park now. Cool. Yes. I'm all about that. Park needs to make some money for the maintenance and all that stuff. And they get paid some I mean, they need to get. Okay, yeah. so, and, or do improvements. It's for, for the National Forest. So, okay. we get there, we have to park in kind of like more of an overflow area. Yeah, park in like the camping but it's, area. But it's a camping picnic area, which is a nice parking spot. Like yeah. it's right down. So, when you get there, we unload the box, we go back to the loop. The yeah. start of it. That's where the pay machines for parking are. Yes. I don't remember my license plate numbers on anything. Yes. Everybody else does. I don't. Yeah, I don't either. I think it only took a debit card. You couldn't put cash in. Yeah. So I think I had my last. I went back to get my license plate number. Went back and then had to go back again. Maybe yes. Cash or something. But it's debit card only. I think. I'm pretty sure it's debit card. Only. And it's just five dollars. So debit card, license Which, plate number, you're good. Right. As There'll be a machine somewhere you'll see it. And yes. I, I noticed people probably not paying, and one couple said that like, you know, no it's one's new checking, and nobody's but looking. But you don't do that. You only get part. told, and you want to contribute. Um, you want to contribute. It's five dollars. <laughs> um, we did it. We do. We did make a video. He doesn't know this, but we made a video that's on YouTube, also on this channel, about vehicle free days at Kane's Cove. The point is, May through, May through September ish. At the time of this video, it's June 2024. Yeah. So if you're looking at this in 2025, obviously go check their website right now. Yeah, this look at the dates. September. Check yeah. it out still. And it's Wednesdays. It's Wednesdays only. That's it. Uh, and we went late in the day. It was. A few people still. Yes, and they do say like if there's not enough parking, they turn you away. So on your on the website, they'll say like um, if you come in the morning, it's crowded, and they're saying they turn people away in the morning. We, there was it was crowded, but there was enough. Parking. Yeah, I can see in the morning, maybe in the spring and fall. Yeah. yeah but in the I'm summertime, sure. I think it'll thin out. I think it's good all the time. Yeah. I think you'll figure it out. Okay. It'll, it'll be fine. It is an 11 mile loop. You can opt to other things, and then we Warm saw five bears. Warm me out. We saw five bears when we were there. So anyways, okay, that's number one. Number two, tubing and Townsville. Tubing and Townsville. Tubing. You need to wear a bathing suit. I yeah, think. we've not done that in a long time. I want to go every year. He wants to go all the time. Okay, go to River Rat, but he's a little River bit Rage, too wild for and me. go tubing and pay on and figure it out. Okay, so you said two different companies, River Rage and River Rat. River Rat is like River a big River Rage company. is still there. Yeah, no, it's still there. Okay. River uh, Rat River is... River Rat's the same yes. kind of thing. They're... They're, they're the bigger one. And they're a lot bigger than they Yeah, like they even... Years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you no, can rent so, cabanas. I was looking yeah, on their website. Rent a cabana on a river. Yeah. You come float back down to get in your <laughs> cabana. And then you like... And they hang out. Hang out, eat lunch. Go back on the bus again. Float back down in your cabana. Now, you've tubed a lot more than I have. Is there anything that you can think, like, in preparation people should bring, they should mm. do? Tubing. Mine is wear shorts, wear a bathing suit, bring a towel. Or you don't take a towel on the tube with you. Yeah, but in your car. Like, you gotta specify. <laughs> Can you speak? Grabbing a towel right here. Okay, so 
Uh, what would you have in your car? You're a much better planner than oh, I Oh, in the car? Yeah. yeah. Like, what you are you bringing? Like, just everything. Bring some chairs and a towel and a cooler and everything. Ice and drinks and food. Just in case. Yeah. Um, if you go to their website, so there's, if you go, you can go to SmokyMountains.org and there's four different places that says has to be. River Rage, which is like a smaller company. They're fine. We've done them. Yeah. Smoky Mountain Outdoor Center, Smoky Mountain there's, River Rat Tubing, River Rat Tubing. I bet huge. there's four or five of them. Yeah. Right, what do you say? Yeah. Well, and there's two different River Rat like There's things. different locations yes. on the River Rats. And I would go look um, at their websites because like River Rat, they say on their website, for example, you need to pay ahead of time. You need to reserve something. Whereas I think we just showed up. Yeah, but it's been a couple about three years. So, I want to do that, Plan but on, call them and see if you need. You know, and I think also I like just using stuff now. Like you can, you can still rent a tube from them, I think, and go past the park yeah. line and going up yourself and put your tube in and go down. It gives you a little more tube. Because they can only go. So the companies can, go can only the go to the park line. park line. Yeah. So if you're wanting a more Don't of an experience, to that, but that's what it was. Yes. That's what it was. So what he's done is they brought two cars. You brought two cars? Or how did you do that? No, I just think when we, well, the last time I think we, they dropped us off on the bus as far as they go. Oh, and, and we just huffed it up the road as far as we wanted to. Up the Y. They call it the Y. Where yeah, the where you together split. Right there yeah. And all that. Up there and a little, a little even past that. Then we put in our tubes. We come down the line and hung out a little bit. And then, and then down. Yeah. It was still their tubes because their tubes are good and they're cheap and you don't have to worry about hauling tubes and everything. Who's gonna haul? <laughs> eight tubes. I don't I'm know not doing that. Eight you can't put eight tubes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So you can if you want to air them up. And some know. people bring like waterproof radios and like listen to music. Maybe and some blah, blah, blah. sunblock and do a here, do a thermos <laughs> with whatever you prefer to drink. Yes. Gatorade, waters, <laughs> hot coffee, tea. Hot coffee? Maybe it's cold. It's just, this is for the summer. Or like about a summer big activity. syllable, like huge, you know, drink container, like, like a big one. Beaver. <laughs> I don't think they <laughs> Bring your board. Okay. Tie a little rope to it. Bring a little string. Oh, like that's a so smart. See? Or something won't break. This is sure. why I brought him Tied around that. Video. Don't hold this account. Like, sign a waiver for what I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but tie a string to it, a rope to it, or whatever. Tie it to the handle of the tube, and you got fluids. Cause it gets hot, even though you're in that water. It's hot, like if you're in the July August. Fluids. <laughs> Something to drink. You got kids? Don't go. But uh, he's saying be prepared. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how are you gonna the carry stuff? The string stuff is on the it? more important part. Take of all the this. rope and tie it to something that seals good. Yes. To break so that it. way. You can even let it nail in the water to keep it cold, yes. or if it's, you know, 100% waterproof. Yes. You might bring other things, but I don't think I would do that. I do drinks only. Probably. Now, do you do you plan your tubing based on when it recently rained, or do you just? Yes. After a great, that's a good one. After a great rain, you go through it. <laughs> no, he does. I don't. And it it's so me. fun. Like You'll slow. flip over, and you know you you may or may not hit your head on things and come out with bruises and cuts and stitches. What? God, do you wear a helmet? But it's fun. No, you He's wear more helmet. adventurous. Um. <laughs> Oh, no, they'll know. have warnings. They'll have yeah, they'll people see, around yeah. telling you not to get in if it's that bad. And, and there's also people good. at the like, KOA. Don't go that right after rain. It's yeah. terrible. It's, yeah. But if it's a mild rain and water's running a little more than normal, well, a little higher than normal, yeah. all it takes is like just a little bit more than normal on the level. Yeah. And a little faster. It makes it super fun. Yeah. But don't go after a storm. Like it's rushing. You can get hurt. But I've seen people like hit their heads. Yeah, like my sister pulled out, or rescued, her. whatever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I would call beforehand. You places you probably could show up at the last minute, but I wouldn't say plan ahead if you can. Yeah, and even if it's ahead. really bad, and you drive up there and you're like, oh man, the river is raging. I know it's good, and it's because it's a nice sunny day, and you get in, you see that water raging. There's yeah. some calm spots that you could still have fun in. Yeah. That's Don't true. let it run your tubing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Right. There's common stuff. He's and just like some ranger. Porches to hang out. Oh, that's so. true. Yeah, yeah. Go a little short distance in a calmer spot. Yeah. Fish. Whatever. Eat a sandwich. Barbecue. Number three is, and I don't actually know how you've done this. This is water parks and splash pads. So we don't have children, but if you had kids, these are a good option for kids. Or if you like water parks, these are good options. Um, obviously, an obvious one is Splash Country. Have you been to Splash Country? Uh, no, but Splash Country, yes. yes. Well, I'm not there. Mm -hmm. It's good. And people love it. Yeah. People love it. If um, you don't want to get involved in the Dollywood scene, there is Soaky Mountain. And I did ask several friends with kiddos who said that they really like Smoky Mountain because it's not too huge, so they don't like lose their kids. They said it's super clean and it's very reasonably priced. Yeah, it's just confined to this yeah. smaller one water park, not this whole. Well, I don't know how that would work. It's yeah. so big. I keep yeah, I think it's larger, um, and I think it's more expensive. It. Yeah. Uh, than Smoky Mountain, but but those now, are definitely. What's awesome. the one besides Smoky Mountain? That's um that has the hotel at the golf course. Oh my um, god. Um but it's indoors, that's why they included it. But it which I guess we give her a rainy day. Yeah. It's a wilderness of this one. Wilderness and then you can see that shoot. That's an indoor water park. Yeah, so that'd be good for like a rainy day, whatever, blah blah blah. Might, um, yeah, it might be inexpensive around there. Yeah. Um but We're I not still experienced think in water parks for discount. Well, because we're, we're telling these options things. locally like, I'm not for things to do. This in a long time. <laughs> yeah, but we're in the <laughs> But you're gonna, but because we want to be inclusive of things that there are available. When's the last time nope. that you played Listen, on the market square splash pad? We have no idea. Market square splash No, I said already we don't have kids, but I'm including this because these are options. God, I Marcus. feel like to make a slip on a rock. Now they're like. No. So he told me to go tubing. <laughs> you said all that about <laughs> you. You know, I mean. I said, if you need to wear a helmet? That one feel bad. You wear helmets and gloves and knee pads. Like, oh my God. I would wear a bag brace and a helmet and a Hans device. <laughs> I would do that. Okay, uh, no. Next up, Market Square Splash Pad. I, Market Square? There's a splash pad at Market Square. We're talking about splash pads. Market Square, McPhee Park, and then you also have community pools, the YMCA. If you go to, there's actually a website, All Knock Swim. Look in the look in the links below, allknockswim.com, and that's gonna have all the community pools. What? <laughs> splash pad. For those people, that's for little children. Okay. They Again. take their kids there and they run around bare feet. We clearly don't, don't have children. I have no idea about This that. is only three out of yeah, six we're talking about. Anyways. Okay, so this one's now. It's good now, to see y'all. This one is now. Number four is go to the lake or river, which is your specialty. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Gosh, I've done that within the last month. Since <laughs> last week. Okay, lakes. Douglas, Norris. you got Fort Loudoun, which is a sect of Tennessee yep. River. Yep. Um, when it comes to water sports itself, my suggestion would be the lakes are better for water sports versus the Tennessee River. Yeah. So you're going to go to Douglas, you're going to go to Norris, you could go to Mountain Hill, but like I would, I think our big lakes are Douglas and Norris. And you've yeah. got Teleco too, but. Live in Seymour, pretty close to like South Austin Seymour. Yeah. So Douglas for sure, Fort Loudon, the river, you're calling it. Yeah. And you're going down to Fort Loudon. You go down past uh, like West Knox North area. Is, uh, gonna be a little, a pretty good little drive for us. We've done it. Um, used to do a lot when we were more in the Knox area. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're more in Knox or like north, north of 70, close. north like, of 40, yeah. basically, north awesome. is a good option. So, Both of those. Like topic. I know. Let's, he's do it. Like he's excited. Let's go to. If you're listening where to where the audio, go? he's leaned in. Okay. Douglas and Norris both, you can do boat rentals. Yeah. Norris has a much more extensive, like they have a whole website about Norris Lake and it's all about all the marinas, all the yeah, restaurants, yeah. etc. Douglas doesn't have as comprehensive of options. When I think of Douglas, I think of three marinas, two of which you get to eat food at. But Douglas right? is so big and I don't, I don't know any like that upper end or yeah, yeah, we, we don't, don't know go that. Up area. past Andrews, really. Like, yeah. up past the. Up, uh, we don't go past the point, basically. But I don't think there's anything up there. Like, food wise. I don't know I just say it, but yeah, I mean, I don't think so, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to give the wrong impact. 
Well, I'm Shout out to our peeps that we know in Douglas. <laughs> They've took us a long ways up that lake and we've experienced multiple marinas. No, we did go to that three. one. We have been up yeah, there. We, that there's one a farther one, one up there. That we went there last year, I think, or a year before last year. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Nice little marina. And I don't know the name of it. Shout out again to you guys. I don't know who you are. <laughs> we get on these random boats. Okay, what's the difference between hanging uh, out on the river versus hanging out on the lake in the summertime? And maybe I should specify. So oh. when I say river, I mean like forks of the river. Yeah, she's up talking about. South say, let's just call it from downtown Knox. I consider it a river, put it in there, and so it's a little yes. flowy. Go on up from downtown Knox, so like at Calhoun. Go up river. It's narrow, it's flowing a little bit more. It's still deep and everything. Yeah. And then you get. You know, with a couple miles, you gotta be careful because it does get shallower so it and it splits to, and you have to host until left. Yeah. And the French broad to the right. And go up the host a little ways, but I don't go far because I don't know that much about it to you go any farther because I more. think you would get, you know, hit bottom. Yeah. Take a right, French broad, go up that way, go up to what's the kind of seven islands, the shows, all that. You gotta be careful, it's very shallow. But I know a little bit better. My little fishing boat goes good, but there's right. also some fun boats and stuff up there. We shout out to our mm -hmm. peeps up that way. You know who you are. You know who you are. But y'all are great, and but those aren't skiing. That's looking not for, for that boat. invite soon. But no, I'm just kidding. That's not for a water ski. The, to me, oh, well. French Broad and Holson are not for water skiing. Okay, you say that, but the beginning. Okay, so from Calhoun's up. Yes. Black. Go, go in that area. If you're a wakeboarder or whatever, yeah, smooth all day long. Okay. You know, if you like the water sports, yeah. which I think it's basically what wakeboarding now. Wakeboarding. I mean, really? Skiing? Like slalom skiing? Have you wakeboarded before? Yeah, I'm good. I've never <laughs> seen you. <before>. <laughs> <laughs> I like You're a liar. Tube. I like on the tube. Okay, that's an idea. Right, right. You can put the tube on uh, the river. Would you? Yeah, do? you can. Okay, so that's where you want to do. It's so fun, smooth, and no boats around. That's where you want to do this stuff. To so, me, the river, I think, is more kayaking, kayaking paddle boarding. Yeah. <laughs> and you go blow by those people on your tube, and it's like, woo. Okay, oh my so God. you can do it all up river. And if you want smooth water, nobody around, because you're you know, you're in a wakeboarding and you want to practice your tricks or your riding or your... Yeah, just practice. you can do it up the river. Do it up the river, it's smooth. I love it up there. This is interesting because I only associate the water. Honestly, I don't even want to tell them about it because now that all the boats are going to be up there and we like it nice and But no, come on up. It's fun. Like, I go up there to he, kind of play and there. fish out of the fishing boat and just hang out, you know, as it gets later in the day, the shows. Yeah. These people we look up the shows. <laughs> it is kind of cool though that it's little area. Idea. Okay, anything we've missed about lakes versus river versus. I mean, Douglas is great. North, North is, is probably my favorite if it wasn't far for us. We're in Singapore. Yeah, South. we're too it's far. Like too far. Don't know a lot about it. It's too big. It, it is it's big. Humongous. It's not too big. It's just I can't tell you much except for. Uh, I like the uh, the area. I think we they have a bigger there. social scene. Yeah, I just think Norris has more stuff going on. Yeah, below Norris, the clinch when it comes out from the dam. Uh, there's a brewery down there. Mm -hmm. So you're up here in the lake, and the next thing you know, you're up here on the clinch, the brewery, and travel. We have two topics left. Mm -hmm. Number five is ice cream and summertime treats. I already know where to start. Okay, tell me where to start. Cruise farm. Which, if and you look at my notes, that's the very first one on my notes. Oh, Cruise farm. <laughs> if I can read it. He didn't even know that. That's uh, so Cruise not Cruise Farm. Farm downtown Gay Street. Either. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> people. The hidden gem is Cruise Farm. Yeah. Out on Charles Gravel. Which drive through. It is a drive through. Pizza place next door that is there. It's Cruise Farm Pizza. Yes. Yeah. That's a good one. And they have a movie. I think they do movies. They have a big giant movie screen on the back. Well, now I'm just like. Anyways, Cruise like, hey, Farm. Now it's plus. Cruise Farm is great. He likes our peanut butter milkshake, and I do their. Never had anything bad. 
It's very good. The but pizza's good. Also Gay Street. But if you want to do an adventure with pizza, then go out to the one. Yeah, go out there and go through the drive through to the cruise farm and get your normal cruise farm. Treat. Tasty treat. Treat the drive through. Um, or, the, you know, it's not only a drive through, it's an old pool house. It is a I think it's the draw for me, the location of St. Seymour, track down the road. Yeah. But the old cool house it's in. Yeah, it is awesome. cool. It's a cool like, place. Uh, big old brick old house. I mean, it's probably It's older than our house. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, Phoenix Pharmacy, which is on Gay Street. It's another ice cream place. They yeah. do like Sundays. It's very yeah. like a traditional. Phoenix Building. Sugar Queen Creamery is one of my favorites. Yep. They have ice cream, but they also have these amazing cinnamon sugar pretzels. And mm. that's a treat all year round, not just in summertime. But they also have, um, they have their cookie sundae thing. It's two giant cookies that they warm up and then you can get two scoops of ice cream. And they also have a brownie one and it's a hot brownie. And you pick your ice cream. Yeah, sugar cream creamy is great. <laughs> now the pretzel is my favorite thing. You yeah, you do their peanut you do their milkshake there too. Yeah, every now and then I'll do that. Yeah. If you wanted you to go be my best buddy, I'll do a pretzel from there. Ask for extra signature. Going up to the joint and do a little milkshake. Two for one. Treat me, uh, Two for one. It's on the way home. This is true. Um, another one is there is a new ice cream place in Irby's, I mean, in Kern's Food Hall called Irby's, which we've not tried. Oh, yeah, People yeah, seem yeah. to love it. It smells great. Yeah, 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 it smells great. Moonshine Mountain Cookies. I'm this so is not confused. really a summer treat, but it I've is been a here great so treat. Much. It's next to the sushi place. Okay, yeah. Not trying to. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. I'm not trying to. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. so and I Sorry. tried to just do just local. There's also a snow cone place. I'm not really a snow cone person, so I didn't feel yeah. like it was appropriate for me to work. Was Kern's a topic? What we did? No, we're talking about ice cream and treats for um, the summer. And if you're going to Kern's, Kern's has a great outdoor space. Watch that thing, and there's an ice cream place in there. Number six, outdoor patios and dining. Now, if you were gonna tell anyone your top three outdoor patios or summertime dining, what would your list be? Well, I just had to throw it out there. I just want to make a red <laughs> That's Okay. Rude number one. Yes. An unhelpful number two. Yeah. Outdoor. Outdoor dining. dining. Pat, oh, outdoor dining. I would say. <laughs> The place I'm kind of used to go to a lot is really good. <laughs> Sunspot. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, Sunspot and... We haven't been there a while, but I like Sunspot. They have, an, they have a rooftop -ish. Gay Street. There's a rooftop up there at one of those hotels that we kind of like. From just to hang out, maybe have a drink, not eat, but it's good. And you need to pick a third place. What's well, the place in Market Square? Well, they got like so many levels. Preservation Pub. Uh, they have a good that rooftop's good. Rooftop. Yeah. And good. that's more, that is a, that's not really kid friendly, I would say. Actually, no. I don't think Hyatt or Embassy Suites rooftops are kid friendly either. Kid friendly. Kid friendly would be Kearns, I feel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Kearns is bringing uh, a yeah. dog, probably, and everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Well, don't hold me to that, but probably. Yeah, well, you probably. Kearns is before. great. A rooftop, I didn't. Oh. But yeah. Yeah, but they have a good outdoor patio. A little outdoor rooftop patio. Yeah. There's two little sections of it with a little bar and then the downstairs is huge. Downstairs but the top is, huge. is just like one little bar, mm -hmm. some bathrooms, two patios kind of connected almost. Uh, but downstairs good. they also have, it's like turf or whatever. Outdoor space downstairs. Playing. Another good one for kids, I think, is Peaceful Side Social, which is in Townsend. The best. And they have a great outdoor space. The now best. it gets very crowded, so you need to brace yourself before you go. That is What's the one up from it? Going a little bit farther up. Oh, Company the... Distilling. They have a good outdoor space. It's on the river. Great outdoor space. Yes. It's not cornhole, blah, blah, uh, blah. Not so crowded like there. the other one, like Peaceful Side. It's a little smaller. It's around back, kind of hidden more. Yeah. And yeah, it's they around back. The, the food and everything, the kitchen like. Yeah. So it's going to be less crowded. Yes. Uh, it's really good, really great. The river's right there on both of those. Like. Also, I thought about Yeehaw. 
That's a great oh, outdoor that's patio. Good. Really uh, right good. Right from Yeehaw. Yeah. Alley oh, Race. Oh, they do have a good Alley Race. Yeah, Alley Race has a good outdoor space. Walter, it's pretty good. Bob which is too. downtown. Calhoun's on the river. Toto Marina, which These is West Knox. These are the ones that we go to that we like. Yeah, yes. And we have more to talk about. Because I don't like telling people that. No, these are all one thing about. Listen. She's been doing that today. <laughs> I'm about to have to go home. Wrap your kids in video. bubble, bubble wrap. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Finish it. Outdoor patios and dining. I'm just gonna make those a list. Those are good ones. Those are great ones. You say agree or disagree. Okay, go. Okay. Current food hall. Yeah. For kids. Also. Yes. Yeehaw. Yes. Yes. Balter. Yes. Calhoun's on the river. Yes. Kids. Can we go to the way or Yep. Yeah, there's no like playground, but it would be fine. Like no, it's on I'm the water. I'm just saying to get cool. a kid in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Chota Marina. Yes, yes. And they have they have that's a cool hangout for like I don't want to say it's a cool hangout. It's marina food. They've Very got good. basic like drinks, but it is it's a um, cool vibe. She, I say yeah. she. They make good drinks. We have a good friend that works there. They yes. have good food. Like it's it's bar bar stuff. Right. It's good. It's it quality. Good. I love it. Yeah. Embassy Suites Rooftop, which we talked about, it's called yeah. Radius for Hyatt, which is the 530 Lounge. Yeah. Preservation Pub, we talked about. Foods, you can get food at that too. Yeah. A couple we've not been to are, I've not been to Scrubby City Hall or Bernadette's Crystal Gardens, but both of those have rooftops. Oh yeah, on the rooftop, yeah. yeah. Beard and Beer Market, that's another huge outdoor drinking space. And they've got like, um, what's the game with the wood blocks? Uh, Jinga. They, that's a cool vibe. Very like low key, I would say. Probably not for kids. I don't, I've yeah. been there, but I don't know about for kids. Shell Sprout's a good one. Shell Sprout, Trailhead. Trailhead's good. Um, Southside uh, Garage. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to start here on Severe Avenue area, which is my favorite part of town mm -hmm. now. And I'm supposed to grew up in that area. You did grow up. Real quick. Yes. Uh, trailhead. Yes. Great. Southside Garage. Great. Abridged is not, not there. We've already but... talk, talked about that. I'm just going through our list real quick. Um, so no taco. So no taco, great. That's getting well, a great Well, and they've invested area. into their outdoor space. So now it's covered. 71 South, awesome. and the Crafty Bastard that they have connected to that too, great. And there's some outdoor spaces there. And, and then, then you could go to, area I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the pizza place, South Coast. Yeah, South, oh, they do great have an outdoor, outdoor patio. patio with uh, picnic tables and great pizza and wings. Um, Landing House. Landing House. Uh, hopefully I'm not getting none of you guys. High Wire's got one. They have a rooftop-ish space. Redbud Kitchen has outdoor space. Yep. So, Basically, Severe Avenue. Basically, Severe Avenue, you have a ton of options. Out, okay. yeah. Alliance. Alliance has a good outdoor space. space. All Got on a row. Even Fly By Night has an outdoor space. Fly By Night has one. Mm -hmm. um, so, Get we just threw an entire list of yeah. outdoor options, places. Some kid-friendly, some not. Um, okay, when it comes to, oh, have I, I missed exactly. anything when it comes to things to do in the summer in East Tennessee? I'm sure there's 50,000 more things, but these are what came to mind. Yep. Yep. Anything I missed? I mean, like, this thing is something here in like 10 minutes, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But This video was a bit of a train wreck, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Um, if... <laughs> if you want more East Tennessee Fun. and Knox awesome. area information, you can always subscribe because I have so much more to tell you. Thanks so much for being here today. Cut. <laughs> I'm Haley Jones. I'll see you next time.